Hello everyone, I'm Ursula Gontier from the Cochrane Community Support Team. Today I'm going to show you how to use the validation report in Revman Web to resolve any errors or warnings that may be present in your review. This will be helpful because you cannot submit your review for editorial approval if you have any outstanding errors. Also, reviews without any validation errors or warnings present proceed more quickly towards publication as the editorial base won't have to return the review to you to ask you to correct these. To work with the validation report, open your review in Revman Web and view your dashboard. You can see the numbers of errors and warnings present in the validation panel here. You can use the arrows on the right hand side of the screen to expand and collapse these panels. If you want to address a validation error, scroll to the error that you wish to look at and click to view. If you want a reminder of what you're meant to be doing to resolve this error, click on the context pane in the top right hand corner and expand the validation errors or warnings menu. You will see that the plain language summary text is absent from this review. If I add some test text here and wait for the system to save, I can then refresh and you will see that that validation error has now been removed from the list. You can then navigate to the next warning or error that you wish to address. We hope that you'll find this useful to produce a clean, error-free version of your review for submission to your editorial group. Don't forget that there's also useful advice on recommended Cochrane formatting to use in your review in the Style Manual which you can access from within the help menu on the top toolbar in Revman Web. The style manual provides useful advice on all areas of the text. If you need methods guidance, the Cochrane Handbook for Systematic Reviews of Interventions is also available via a direct link in Revman Web. If you have any queries about Revman Web, please contact the Cochrane Community Support Team support at cochrane.org. We'll be happy to help. Thank you.